Gloria sent us a bunch of stuff. A whole slew of products. We got their GMMK2, 65% modular mechanical keyboard. We got a numpad from them. We got a cable, GPBT premium PBT keycap set, a wrist rest, and a different numpad. I am excited. I wanted to cover a bunch of, G like I, I love the GMMK Pro. Let's do the cable. Glorious coiled cable with the crimson red color. I love that crimson red. USB-C. These can be really expensive depending on where you get them. I have made these myself. I have bought several from several different companies. So far, looks pretty good. That's a decent coil. Here's the problem with these a lot of the time. They coil them in a way, depending on who you buy it from, where this doesn't like come out at a straight angle perfectly. So like right now, this rests like this naturally, but really you want it like this. So when you do that to some of these other cables, it just like makes them a little off center. They're not perfect at that point. Like maybe they're off to the side or like maybe they're like this or whatever. Anyway, it's not happening here. Length is pretty good. Uh, so part of the reason why you can't get super long coils is because USB actually has like a maximum length. If we measure from end to end, it is about six inches. So yeah, I can, I can still eyeball uh, lengths of things. Take that however you want. Um, <laughs> your aviator connector, this thing is purely for aesthetics. It's a five pin connector, which is a little nice. Most of the ones I've used are like four pin. And you just, so you just put it in and then you screw it down and then bam. So now what you've got on your desk is gonna be something like this. I mean, the cable is a little stiff right now, but you just keep it out and maybe hold it straight for a little while and it should kind of, okay, I guess that's my only complaint. A lot of the time when you get these, they're like, <laughs> they're not as uh, stiff as this. Okay, we got a wrist rest. By the way, jerry rig knife. There we go, okay. What you get is, oh, yeah, it's kind of nice. I actually strongly prefer a soft fabric and like memory foam or a cooling gel or whatever. Yeah, I think it's wood actually. This could be a really nice alternative. Oh, and the wood actually explains a lot. So I saw these markings and I thought it was like scrapes on the plastic. Yeah, the ridge is a lot clearer, I think. Like you can see it on here too. Uh, one cool thing though, is that it's got these rubber grips on the bottom. So it's actually like really not going anywhere. We've got two numpads, black and white. I'm gonna flip this knife. Let's say the uh, label side is the white one and the other side is the black one. We're opening the white one. Okay. They're otherwise basically the same. It's just a color. Oh, this is hefty already. I think these are all aluminum. So CNC aluminum, 18 programmable keys, knob and slider controls. Actually really like it already. Uh, it's got a little like Bluetooth on or off switch down here. Oh, as soon as you said to Bluetooth, it's turned on instead of, so it's not plugged in, but you know, it's got some juice. Looks like there's a bunch of RGB which is pretty nice. And then you've got these little side lights as well that turn on. A little hard to pick up on the camera during with certain angles and whatnot, but should be fully programmable. One pretty cool thing as well is that Glorious is like embossed into the bottom where it's carved out. It's pretty sweet. And I like that it's got both a knob, which feels great. Can it click? Yeah, it can click. So you can use this as like a play or pause button. I get, you know, it's fully programmable, so it's up to you. Use the slider or the knob for whatever you want. Maybe you want the volume on the slider and you want the knob to do forward and back or something like that. It sounds and feels pretty good. I don't know which switches are in this guy, but I know that they are making their own now. I mean, they have been for years. Let's check it out. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is GMMK or if it's Cherry, but it's just some red linear switch. Oh no, it does say glorious. The stabilizers, Sound and feel pretty good. If they're not lubed, then they've done a pretty good job at constructing them in a way where they're not like super scratchy or rattly. Construction overall is pretty sweet. And yeah, like I said before, I do love how there's both a knob and a slider. We've got a keycap set for our keyboard that we're gonna get to eventually, I promise. This is the Celestial Fire version. Well, what else we get? Oh my God, stickers? Hell yeah, I'm keeping this sticker. It's a little excessive if you're worried about plastic packaging in products. So that's my only one like a real complaint. Yeah, it feels okay. It feels like PBT. I guess it's probably these guys too. I don't know if these are double shot shine through, but these clearly are. So if that matters a lot to you, then it looks like you're in luck. The GMMK Pro came out several years ago now, and it's pretty good. Honestly, it kind of shook up the scene. You know, you're gonna have a lot of boutique people who are like, oh, you can get better keyboards. It's like, yeah, yeah, sure you can, but it's usually in stock and it's good enough for what it is. And the price is right. Uh, part of why I recommend Geekron so much is 
simply because it's a similar build quality to the GMMK Pro, but at least the Q series is, but you can get it in like a ton of different, both colors and uh, layouts and sizes and stuff. But GMMK is definitely a good option. Ooh, they've got another puller, another cable. What's this guy? It's the glorious symbol? No, it's just the escape key. Okay. Uh, this is the fully assembled version. Before I show you the goods though, we're gonna talk about our sponsor today, Enlisted. Enlisted is a free to play World War II multiplayer shooter available on PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One. It has a focus on historical authenticity and gameplay that always keeps you in the middle of the action. You'll be placed in large scale combat alongside dozens of soldiers and vehicles directly in famous historical campaigns like the invasion of Normandy. Head to the link below and start playing Enlisted for free. You'll also get a free bonus for signing up. Keyboard time. All right, they got a nice little soft foam to keep it, you know, nice and safe. They did indeed put the Glorious logo on the escape key and then give us the escape key. Cool. Yeah, so this is the pre-built. It comes with everything already installed for you if you're a little afraid of building your own mechanical keyboard. I honestly personally recommend you try it. It's not that hard. And once you know how to do it for one keyboard, most of them kind of are at least very similar. Ah, I like it. There's a, there's like a hollow, like a hollow kind of sound going on. So I don't know. I'm sure there's foam in here though. It's nice and hefty. It's definitely plastic on the bottom and then aluminum on the top. The space bar could use a little work on the stabilizers, but that's okay. That can be a project that you can do yourself. It's honestly not that hard. You got your USB-C cable there that will plug in. Oh, you got adjustable feet. They only have on or off. I guess that's my only complaint so far is I would love a single option in between whatever fully extended is and whatever closed is for the different angle. Uh, I really like the rubber feet though. These are actually kind of crazy. They've got these little studs on all of them. But yeah, they're all bumpy. Usually it's just like rubber padding and, and that's it. So I wonder if it, yeah, I mean, it stays pretty good. Don't get me wrong. They usually stay pretty good anyway, but this should be hot swappable. So if you don't like any of the switches you get, you can just swap them out. And you can also order this as the bare bones version, which doesn't come with switches. So I think this guy is like 110, $120 fully assembled. And then if you want the bare bones version, you can save like 30, 40 bucks. And I think it's 80 bucks. You know, it all depends. If you don't have a single keyboard yet, it's definitely worth it to just get the fully kitted out once. You don't have to worry about which switches to get. You don't have to worry about buying keycaps, anything like that. But if you're more of an enthusiast or a hobbyist and you've already got a bunch of stuff like that, then just get the bare bones version, honestly because you're probably gonna do a better job putting it together yourself, depending on where you wanna put the foam, how much foam you wanna use, if you wanna do any other stuff like gluing the stabilizers when you're assembling it, you know, anything like that. We've got more of those red glorious switches. They seem fine. They seem like reds. It says it's hot swap. Hey, it is. And it's five pin, right on. For example, these are three pin switches. They absolutely could have saved a little bit of money probably and got three pin PCBs and it would have been fine. But you know what? They went that little bit of extra mile and they gave us five pin. Okay, so you remember that thing I was talking about before where the coil on the cable, since you got to move it out like one more half rotation, it kind of screws stuff up. For example, if I want this to go out to the right, plug it in and everything, you see how it's got this like little bit of a slope to it on the edge here? That's what I'm talking about. It's not a big deal. Yeah, see now it's doing it on this side. Part of the problem is that the feet are up. So if we put the feet down and put it there, it's still it. Ah, yeah, see? And this is happening from most people that I buy from. Like Cable Mod, the same thing happens. I bought from like Badger Cables. I think they're out of business now, but same thing happened there. I've made my own, the same thing happens. It's, it's really hard to get this coil like perfect. So you've really gotta be paying attention as you coil it and like when exactly to stop and then straighten out the end and stuff. Either way, once it has sat somewhere for a while, it'll kind of like start to just lay flat and it's fine. And you know, it's a, it's a pretty minor problem to have. It's just, if you're spending all this money, you want it to like be perfectly symmetrical like myself right now. We're gonna do the old monkey type, the classic. And here we go. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, caps lock is on. Oh my God, I did it again. Uh, one thing to note about 65%, you have a function key here because I don't have an F row. So I can't just hit F5, I gotta go function five. It's really not a huge deal. And a lot of people need even smaller layouts. They're like, yeah, 40% is fine. I just have like two other layers of macros. 117, 98%, that's not bad. Yeah, like I said, there's like a hollow feeling to it. It's not, it's not terrible. Like this is definitely on par 
with other boards that are like this where you've got everything visible. Like you can see all the switches here and I'm not crazy about those personally. Like I love the look of it, but I find you don't get quite the same like focky deep sound as you do when um, everything is below a nice top case. The drop keyboards are a big offender for this exact problem. Zero, okay, that's close enough. Two pounds, that's portable. It's not, you know, crazy light or anything, but you could definitely chuck this in a backpack and then not really worry about it being in there, especially if you keep that little cloth that came with it. I guess that's my only other issue is sometimes when you're paying a little more, you're also getting like a carrying case with your keyboard. You're not gonna get that here, but at the price point, I don't think you can complain all that much to begin with. As for everyone out there, should you buy this? I don't know, it's a tough It's a tough call. Everyone's different, everyone has different needs. I personally don't really want this board in particular. I want a GMMK Pro 2 whenever they make the Pro 2. I know there's an upgrade kit for the GMMK Pro, so I'd like to see that just like in a final version. How much does this guy weigh? 1.2 pounds. It's going all over the place. This scale sucks. Uh, anyway, it's a full CNC aluminum body. Like this thing is actually relatively premium feeling to be perfectly honest. And getting the slider in there on top of the knob is actually pretty nice. It's like 130 US dollars, which is really hard for some people to stomach, especially when you could just buy like a full kit keyboard. Yeah, I don't know, man, it's tough. Me personally, yes, I would buy this thing. I think it's actually a really quality numpad, but you can absolutely find cheaper ones. They're just probably not gonna be full CNC aluminum. So I definitely think that like this can be a really solid entry point to people looking to get into the hobby. This is more of an upgrade kind of thing down the line. Kind of want one now. We got two, so maybe maybe I'll try to get one from work. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want another hot swap board, but you want a, like a, a really trusted brand, I guess, then go for the Corsair. Check out the K70 Pro that we just unboxed. It's not perfect, but it's hot swappable finally. These things are glorious. I don't know.